Okay, hi everybody. Um, <laughs> I wanna, I wanna talk about a little experience that I had the other day. Um, to encourage anybody that may be going through <laughs> um, something similar or you know the same thing or whatnot. Some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. I did not I... give my baby the um required um assignment after delivery if y'all could follow me all right because i don't really want to use the words this my channel i have seen and experienced certain things to know that as small and almost non-existent that it is is still it's not being put out there because of you know the content but that's okay it will reach who it needs to reach um so you know there's a procedure that you take your baby to after you give birth at the um hospital or clinic or whatnot i did not go through that my baby has never seen a doctor or hospital or anything like that since leaving with me on the day of delivery um now eventually i'll get into more about that like what that really looked like and it was scary and i did have to come to a place where i had to really dig deep and ask the lord to um to strengthen me because like I said it was really scary and I started to think what if they take my baby and say that I am not a fit mother because um, you know they, they say that these things these assignments follow me guys these assignments um, save lives and and prevent stuff down the road and blah 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 right the thing is um, when the Lord had shown me through um dreams that he would give me um a child i would have had talks various discussions and stuff with the lord over the process of a couple of years um i think i had gotten that dream in 2019 and my baby came here in 2021 right well when i say came here was conceived in 2021 um so um <laughs> i would have had discussions with him and i would have promised you know to raise my baby up in the way of the lord like totally for the lord right and um you no know, if but maybe right it has been kind of hard for me because um nursing and stuff like that you know your hormones haven't really come back um to the place where it was prior to being pregnant and um so you would often hear me talk about being in my flesh a lot meaning my flesh has some strength right now you know i'm not in the wood as much as i used to be i'm not um in quiet time and personal time with the lord as i used to be a lot of things have changed and i know it will get better but because of those things i tend to like i struggle with my mouth a lot like whatever i would be thinking or however i would be feeling like i would just say it like my mouth is a big problem <laughs> and you know before i used to think you know i just i'm just a straightforward person i'm just you know what you see is what you get but sometimes we can't give in to that um we have to have um self-control over the things we say and do and you know because of others and i don't like pretentiousness i don't like pretensive people and so it's not that you're being pretentious but sometimes you just have to even if you're going to say something kind of just season it with a little salt if you know what i mean 
right um, it's just for peace sake right some people can't handle the truth they always saying you know I want um, honest people around me I want people who are truthful and this and that and and then when they do get these people is a problem they can't handle the truth they can't handle hearing things that they don't want to hear right so anyway um so my baby has never been back to a hospital or clinic or anything like that i have relied totally on the lord and let me just tell you all it has been quite an experience <laughs> now i have um two big people <laughs> right a boy and a girl that i say i had while i was in the world you know and so the experience everything is different now um raising a child for the lord it's just everything is just different um yeah, yeah my you know i'm very conscious of what i say in terms of my child <laughs> Ah, sometimes you might be feeling some kind of way. You might be tired. You ain't got a break. You, ain't, you know, you, you, you might just, your mouth might open and you would be like, you know, just say something that's, <laughs> that you shouldn't or that you would regret. I am very careful. Like I say, my, my mouth is my problem, but I am very careful on the things that I speak over this child. And a lot of it is because of how I am so, um, you know wrapped up in the fact that this child is a gift to me straight from god like you know they say children are a gift from god and all these things but this child is literally literally promised to me by god and so that makes the world of difference so anyway let me get to the point so the point is a couple weeks ago um a customer that I have grown quite fond of invited well I did something for one of her children and they were having um well not one of her children um two of her kids and they were having a little get-together right a little birthday something well that is what was told to me that they were having a little birthday something and you know she had asked if I take my baby out and you know that i could um come and you know so i was like i know that my child has to interact i can't protect him from the world forever like totally keep him away from people and away from things i can't do that and i don't want to do that you know and not because i am not following the system and not because i did not give him the assignment means that he shouldn't be out there experiencing things and meeting people and stuff like that um his life shouldn't be less than because i am trusting in god i'm trusting in god to keep him to protect him to sustain him i'm trying to 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 see and to show and to be an example that we are perfectly made and that we have a creator that knew you know all that we would face, all that, and sometimes it's been like nothing. I don't believe that anything they can, because some people like to say, um, well, you know, they're making things in labs and this and that, and it still hurt people, and and you know, and yes, it's not the way God intended. Yes, we know this, and you know, um, I like to think there's nothing that He would not have known about, and surely He would have put things in place and made us in such a way, right? And there's nothing that nobody could create or fabricate or come up with in a lab or no way. There's nothing that can possibly exist that my God, you know, that is bigger than my God. That is how I like to think. And <clears throat> thinking that <laughs> performing or living in that reality you know is whew, it's not easy because i mean you could think something you could say something but being actually in it is a whole different scenario and so i took my baby out to this this get together and we didn't even stay any time like 
I can't explain it. I was like, like from the time we got there, like he just, you know, was looking around at first because it's a strange place and whatnot. Now, don't get me wrong, he goes places. Like he goes out with me sometimes on delivery or like to the grocery store. He'd sit in the trolley. He would, you know, people I know from before would be like, you know, Maria, you have a baby, this, that. They would come and talk to him. They would. So for the longest while, he has been out there meeting people, interacting with people, you know. His grandmother is always around him. We take him by his grandparents. We, you know, so he just be out and about. He has traveled. When I say traveled, he, we went to the other island where we live. We went to Trinidad. We went, you know, and he's be all over from since baby, from since birth. He just be all over, right? So it's not like he was ever kept in this bubble, right? But, um, I just was curious and he has met these children before, but not really had a chance to say really interact with their man, you know, and I was really curious to see, and especially now that he's older, how he would respond to them, right? Um, and he has a cousin, my husband's brother's son, which is older than him, but he came a couple of times and played with him and and play ball and all these things so um so he has his fair share of socializing right so anyway so when we got to the place now i stayed we stayed like no time really when i said no time he was you know back and forth i talked with him a little bit whatever and then i was like i had to go drop off something i'll go drop it off and we'll come back or whatever right um so we went outside and then well um my my customer who is kind of my friend now right she came out with um her kids and stuff and you know we had a little discussion about something and you know at the end of it we decided we'll go for a drive we'll take the kids for a drive and they'll go with me to drop off this stuff and you know so a couple of her kids was in the back and and she and i in front and so we went uh when we got back well we didn't bother to stay we just dropped them off and we went back home but the thing is when i got there right there was this little girl that was crying and um it was apparent that she had a cold. She was crying and she was blowing her nose in her hand and wiping it in her dress. And, and I was like, look, she's blowing her nose and she wears her rag and, you know, that kind of way. Anyway, um, so my baby didn't really interact with her. He went up to her and he was asking her if, she, <laughs> if she's okay. Because he's not, he has a little ways again to go before he reaches to, but he does talk. Sometimes you, you might, not like who not familiar with him, you wouldn't really pick up on a lot of what he's saying. But as how you know where his parents are, we're always are wrong and we know what it is he's saying. We know how it sounds and, you know. So he was asking, you alright, you alright? Leaning forward and asking, hey, you, you okay? <laughs> oh my God, my sweet child. You're okay, and um, like for just a couple seconds, you're okay, and then he went galloping again, right? And that was the only kind of interaction he had with her, right? But um, with 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 my friends, other kids now that was in the back, he was in his car seat, and they were like sitting around him, and you know, um, one of the child is like his, like just a couple months. No, not a couple of months, a few months well older than him. But um the in the basically in the less than a year apart, right? And um so um I guess they would have been interacting with the child that had the cold. So they may have picked up whatever bug she had and then they were interacting with my baby. So you know, at some point it spread. So within the next day, or I think two days after, he started rubbing up his nose and sniffling now, you know? And and then boom, he got the cold. He got sick. When I say sick, right? He got whatever bug it is they had. And at first I was like, what is this? I felt kinda bad. 
like I felt guilty I felt you know I was like maybe I should not have taken him over there maybe I shouldn't have taken him out you know I need to protect him this is not good enough this that I really was pounding up on myself you know but then I was then I started to think you know within praying and talking to the Lord and stuff I was like he has to interact with people no if but or maybe he has to and he will come across people with sicknesses people with all kind of stuff out there right it has to happen in order for his immune system to get stronger it has to happen in order for him to become stronger and you know it's like the lord was really talking to me there in my spirit and you know reminding me to trust him i am saying that god is bigger than whatever we would face whatever may come come across our path right so then i have to prove that in the sense that how will we know that yes god is bigger not saying that i want sickness to be fall so i want you understand but we have to live in a way that we're not fearful we're not careless but at the same time we're not fearful knowing and believing and trusting that god will protect us that he will take care of us and there is nothing that may come into our um home into our family into our bodies that the lord cannot handle that he hasn't made preparation for right and um so the the scripture in psalm right i think it's psalm 39 i'm not sure let me see if i can pull it up i'm not sure exactly which psalm 139 um all right let me just pull up the whole the entire thing and see if i can find it right right so psalm 139 14 right says i will praise thee for i am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well right the verse right before that says for thou hast possessed my reins thou hast covered me in my mother's womb right so since this child in my womb since this, this child in my womb god is with this child god is covering this child he is wonderfully and fearfully made right when we say um fearfully right it's not like like fear is not a bad thing you know yes i think there's a a bit of fear in the sense of when we think about you know just the thought of how a human being functions right like our organs our muscles and cells our tissues you know how our organs um heals itself how how our tissues and cells and everything works together you know on a day-to-day -day process how the body functions how skin renews itself you know um these things are kind of beyond our mental comprehension to like totally understand how all these things work you know what i mean and um not just that we are made it's not like we made in a factory you know where factories make replicas or duplicates or whatever of whatever we it's like we are handcrafted because we are set apart from each other there's such a thing as dna where we could be identified by and where we could where they could see if we're related to another person or whatnot but our dna is so distinct and you know personal to us all these things are so when you think about it when you think about how a child is formed how it come to be you know in your womb life life in your womb you know how we bring forth children and when we think about all these things we're left in a state of you know of awe it's like we're awestruck it's like whoa you know that kind of way and and 
So this fearfully made is like a kind of reverence, a kind of respect and, 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 you know, to this holy God that is capable of doing such an amazing and miraculous thing, right? And, um, wonderful, it's wonderful and amazing, right? And when you think about a being capable of creating something like this a human being whose body functions like the way ours do and everything is in sync and the way that we get over diseases the way our body fights diseases and you know and this is a being that created this then there i think there should be a bit of fear like being on the wrong end of that if you know what i mean you know like like me being a child of God, then that it that it wouldn't be fear per se, but respect and awesome wonder, you know. But now, when I say it should have a bit of fear, is like being on the other end of that of a being that can do that. That should be kind of you should be afraid, right? So people coming up against us or doing things against children of God. I think they should they should have a bit of fear or be fearful messing with us because we have a creator that is bigger than us, bigger than anything they can come up with, you know? And and yeah, so I had to be reminded of these things right my child is fearfully and wonderfully made his body is magnificent it is it is handcrafted right god took time with each and every one of us you know you know we are similar yes but we're also so different from each other different um gifts different thought patterns different personalities different strengths different weaknesses you know and all these things when we come together and we work together and we build up that church, then all these things, all these different gifts and different this and that and that come together as one and help strengthen us, help build us, you know? Um, it's like in Corinthians when, 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 when they're talking, all of us can't be a head or a hand or a foot or how boring that would be if everybody was the same right how would that be okay so god knows us he formed us he knew us even before we came to be he handcrafted us listen as i was talking about the factory setting and the factory that just making duplicates and whatever and we being handcrafted you know how much better how much more amazing handcraft uh, from factory made stuff there's no two handcrafted um um items that are the same they will always be different always be something different about it and the differences in the craft is actually what makes it so beautiful and makes it a work of art you know when you're crafting, when you're making stuff with your hand, is a beautiful thing. It never ever is the same. So that is that is like us. We are handcrafted. None of us are identical. We're all different, right? And that's the beauty about it. We should celebrate that instead of, you know, the world kind of snubs its nose at differences and these kind of things, but. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so I also, it also came to mind in Jeremiah. Um, that's Jeremiah 1 5 that says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Ah! Before I formed thee in the belly. So my son was formed, handcrafted by an awesome and amazing God. Why should I fear? I shy am not supposed to have any fear. I'm supposed to stand boldly, right? And know that anything that comes our way, anything that comes his way in Jesus' mighty name, 
he shall overcome it. He shall come out stronger than ever, right? And so I just want to give that bit of encouragement. Sometimes, you know, you're just not sure. You're just not, you know, there's so many scriptures, so many scriptures in the word of God to give you that encouragement, to give you that enlightenment, to, to ponder your mind and to remind you of how amazing our creator is and how he made us right so sometimes it may get hard you will start off being so strong so positive and believing yes this is what i'm going to do this is how i'm going to do this yes lord this is and then after a while time passes and things happen and you kind of waver a bit it's perfectly natural it's normal but just remind yourself of the promises of God just go back to the word and remind yourself of the promises of God and he will never leave you he will never forsake you all right just put him first in everything that you do and he will direct your path it will be all right right so um, everything did fair out um, well what happened his dad and I we got sick in all long wing get sick oh my gosh um i not i don't think it was from him though but what happened is that um his father these days is so hot it's just so hot the atmosphere the sun the everything just so hot it's just a heat and to go from heat into cold it is give you like a, like the worst sickness ever and that's what happened to um to his dad he was working in the hot sun body hot you know heated and then he went into the ac in his vehicle and then um baby and i was there baby uh, now this cold or whatever it was didn't even last on him that long it probably lasted like two days but then now within that two days his dad got this thing from the hot and cold. And then I was in the heat, you know, um, stove, oven, all this thing. And I went with all my skin exposed. Because I just, when I home, I just died. I just didn't put on all that much clothes. And I went straight into the deep freeze. And I got the same thing. And God is so amazing that um, baby didn't even get like you know he had like a little side effects i guess like a little loss of appetite and you know just feeling down but um everything blew over and the lord really kept him really protected him because it wouldn't have been nice to know that he just recovering from one thing and then he come and get something else from us and he's the, he's he's the type of baby that you doesn't really know like you would know if he's sick because he's always happy, always bubbly. But even when he's sick and he might be feeling down, he still does be trying to be the life of the party. Still always trying to make you laugh. Still laughing and running up and down and you know. He's be a little needy. But other than that, he's just he's just an amazing baby. Just an amazing personality and you know. And so yeah. So I just wanted to share this little thing. I think I still, I probably should have made notes. I think I still was all over the place, but at the end of the day, that is basically what I wanted to say, you know, to just remind yourself that we are wonderfully and fearfully made, that there is nothing that, you know, that our God can't um, overcome, right? Um, so, yeah, so that is basically it. And y'all have a blessed and amazing day, and there will be more about this and how we journey through this whole um not following the assignment right not following the assignment thing um i want that that my child would be a testimony to the lord and for others that we don't have to follow the system that we can trust in the lord and we can you know we can do it right and live apart and aside from the world all right so y'all be